All right, so we have a new assignment, the cell analogy. It's a Flipgrid assignment, but it's up at the top because it's new. And so the cell analogy, we're going to take the parts of a cell and compare them to the parts of something else. So down there, the red PDF is my example. But if you hit the up arrow, you can find your slides where you're going to work. And remember, when you open up your slides, you definitely want to also push the square row so that we can edit and slide so that it constantly saves and you don't make multiple copies of your work, which is super annoying. So let's say, for instance, I was going to compare the cell to a school. That's a common idea. Then I would write that and I would get an awesome picture of a school there. And in the school, the nucleus contains the DNA, which has instructions to make all those cells proteins, and it controls the cell. So I'm going to think, what controls the school? So it's either the office, a room, or people. So I'm going to say it's the, the people, the principles. And then I'll describe it. The principles control the school, like the nucleus, controls the cell. And then I would need a picture. So that's one point, to pick something and then describe it. The second point is to get a picture of a principle. And so we could just Google search that junk. So I could, you know, pull up the internet. And I could do an image search and see what I get. All right, so like I kind of like this one, so I'm going to hold it. That's not what I wanted to do. Stop that. Stop that. Still not what I wanted to do, so there's another way to do this. So if I zoom in, I can crop that. Now I suppose you could just go get a picture of Mr. Kinzer or Mr. Kennington. And that would actually work. So I'm going to get this picture of a principal and done. Save to photos. Now back in here, I can add the image from my photos. There it is. I'm just going to shrink it down so it fits. And so that slide's done. For the next slide, I would also compare. So the Golgi complex moves things in and out of the cell. So I might say that's the office. And students need who Ned Students need to go to the office to sign in or sign out. And then I would search for a picture. and see what I could get. And so I would pick a picture, or I could walk down and take a picture of the school office. And so each slide needs a picture and a well-described fact. And there are 11 slides. The last slide is you're going to pick which example works really, really, really well and which example doesn't. And you're going to explain that. So one of these pieces of your idea might not work so well. In the end, we're going to hop over and make a video. I recommend Adobe Spark, this app, and hopefully we'll post it on Flipgrid, this app. 
But if not, we have backups. You can do a screen recording like I'm doing. You can do iMovie and you can put it on Seesaw if Flipgrid isn't working. So this is 25 points to take place of our test. Now, if you go back and check out my example, my example is on the website, but my example also is right here where I compare the parts of a cell to the parts of an iPad. So you can't copy me here. So if you say I'm going to compare it to an iPhone, that's totally copying. And we'll talk about a lot of possibilities, but there is also a concern. You definitely don't want to just copy what you find on the internet. So it is okay to Google up other examples on the internet, but what we want to be super careful about is copying them because many of these examples are high school examples that have functions of the cell we haven't talked about, but also um, some of them are just wrong. So be very careful if you look at someone else's idea that you make it fit our actual project and that you don't just copy and paste. All right, good luck and look for more videos for help later next week.